A COVID outbreak at two nursing homes in Westmoreland and Butler counties has now claimed 18 lives. As KDK investigator Andy Sheehan reports, it's even requested an intervention from the National Guard. Quality of Life Services headquartered in Butler has 10 nursing homes, all of which had been COVID free through the summer. But early this month, it struck with a vengeance here at its Apollo Washington Township facility and their one in Sarver. Through this pandemic, some nursing homes have been successful in keeping COVID at bay. But as we've seen, once the infection takes hold, it tends to spread like wildfire. Since the beginning of the month here in Apollo, 77 of the 113 residents have tested positive, as well as 32 staff members. Nine residents have died of the disease. In Sarver, 27 of the 49 residents and three staff members have tested positive, and nine residents have succumbed there as well. Extremely tragic. Chief Operating Officer Paul McGuire says it's been devastating to family and staff. There's no words I could say that describes what, what, uh, what this COVID has done to uh, the nursing home business in general. The sudden spike prompted Quality Care to request the assistance of the Pennsylvania National Guard, which has been at both centers since November 10th, to fill in for quarantine staff members. McGuire attributes the infections to the rise of COVID cases in Butler and Westmoreland counties. It's so prevalent in the community, and it's just coming in through our employees because we've been very restrictive with our visitation. In fact, the most recent state inspections found no deficiency in care in either home. And Apollo showed no problems in a COVID protocol review this summer. But this former kitchen aide who quit in August said the staff was lax in following those protocols. I'd see nurses walking around with their masks down under their chins. McGuire said he is not aware of any compliance issues. We enforce the wearing of the mask. We police the halls to wear the mask. We can't be with every employee 100% of the time. Now, after two weeks of being here, the National Guard is scheduled to pull out of here tomorrow as much of the staff has been able to return. Quality Life is now confident the infection is running its course, but only after much devastation. Reporting in Washington Township, Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.